I witnessed four people get taken in an instant yesterday, and it was brutal. On my way home from work yesterday, I was driving down the interstate just as I do every day. A black vehicle passed me. It was a rental van with four people inside. The passenger and I shared a glance and a friendly grin as they passed by. Maybe a minute later I watched a semi-truck cross the center median and hit them head-on. The only way to describe the impact was incredible. I understand that word is usually used to describe a positive instance, but it honestly fits. Several of us stopped, but there was little that could be done. There was nothing left. The news released the names this morning. For people that had traveled from across the world to visit family for the holiday weekend, only to be erased in a heartbeat a few miles from their destination. I haven't been able to get much sleep, a lot of thinking, and staring at my kid longer than I usually do. I pass that spot almost every day at that exact same time. I am just so anxious and can't stop thinking about it. I was the last person those people ever encountered after living full lives and encountering strangers throughout their journey. The passenger left a warm impression with this stranger, and I hope she finds the same if we end up going somewhere once our time here is done. One thing that morbidly gives me some relief is that I don't know if they ever saw it coming. It was raining kind of hard when it happened, and they never swerved or hit the brakes to avoid the truck. I myself have been involved in several violent accidents, all as a passenger. Two out of the three rollovers resulted in multiple deaths. Somehow I am still here, and somehow don't remember the horrors of those crashes. Though, I suffered physical damages in those accidents, all I remember is pain and not the horrible sights or sounds of my friends being dead. This accident has opened up some wounds, and I feel like they are feelings of guilt. I simply cannot get the impact out of my brain. I watch crazy, gorish stuff on here and it has little impact on me really. This is so much different. When I saw the truck leave the roadway everything slowed down, and it was like slow motion watching it cross over the median, across another lane of traffic, and then just an absolutely breathtaking jolt of energy as that vehicle essentially disappeared into the front of that truck. I'm shook, and quite frankly annoying the fuck out of my kid and wife because it's all I can think about. Needed to get it off my chest and vent a bit. Thank you. Edit. Thank you all so much for your thoughts, well wishes, and advice. A few things to shed some light. I have been going to therapy for some time. Some of it is for support on my journey with my wife who suffers from mental illness. I have written about it here previously and I found that instance to be a very uplifting and positive experience. She is doing fantastic by the way, and has for some time now. The other reason for my therapy is oddly enough for instances very similar to this. Unfortunately, despite never working in medicine, first responder, military, or being a serial killer I have witnessed a great deal of tragedy or have been involved in it in some fashion. Counting yesterday, I have witnessed nine deaths that don't include the three deaths that took place in the car accidents I was a passenger in. These were the first deaths I witnessed in a car accident. The first was when I was 15 and my girlfriend at the time's grandpa had an aortic aneurysm while trimming the hedges. Her grandmother called us from down the road just thinking he had fallen. I had never seen a dead body but knew he was dead the moment I saw him laying there. You can just tell. Two others happened at the same time about two years later when a scaffold failed at a power plant I was performing work at. These two men fell about five stories to the concrete floor we were assembled at waiting for an elevator to take us to a superintendent meeting. Another was my freshman year of college when a fight broke out at a party. I didn't know the guy, but watched him get knocked out and smashed his head into the brick stairs when he fell. He was awake and talking when the ambulance took him away, but died the next day following a series of seizures slash strokes. The last one was about a decade ago when I was watching one of my nephew's football games. A few snaps into the fourth quarter, one of the officials fell to the ground, and he never got up again. There was an ambulance on site because of the game being played, and they still couldn't do anything to revive him. Yikes, sorry for the novel, but details are important. Lastly, I totally plan to blow up my therapist this week. Thank you all for the time you've taken to offer positivity to a stranger.